today we're going to be making a cactus garden out of air dry clay. My name is Ladera McKinnon, a teaching artist at Clay Works in Charlotte, North Carolina. This video is presented by Clay Works in Charlotte, North Carolina and sponsored by Culture Blocks, a community partnership between ASC, Charlotte Mecklenburg Library, Mecklenburg County Park and Recs, to bring arts and culture experiences closer to where residents live. Culture Box is funded by Mecklenburg County. What came in your kit is air dry clay, acrylic paint, a skewer, and a paintbrush. What you will need from home, a workspace, a small dish of water, and items found around the house for texture. To get started, we're going to divide our clay in half for our pinch pot. Pinch pot, a technique of putting your thumb in a ball of clay and pinching from the bottom up to create an opening in the clay. With one of the halves, we are gonna roll it in a ball. We're gonna roll it in our hand back and forth, and you can also roll it on the table that you're working on. To pinch a pinch pot, you're gonna take your thumb and place it directly in the center of your clay. Then you're going to use your thumb, pressing it outwards from the bottom up in a circular motion to make a bowl-like form. While we're pinching our pinch pot, we are going to start pinching it on the table to make the bottom half flat. So the pinch pot can start to look like a dish. While we're pinching our dish, we are going to make sure that the rim stays pretty thick. We want this to be half the thickness of your pinky. Then take a little bit of time to clean up the rim with a little bit of water and flatten and smooth out any imperfections that you don't want on your dish. Since our dish is pinched, we are going to take some inspiration from this photo of what cactus look like. Choose three to four cactuses that you would like to create. I'm starting with a golden barrow cactus. It just looks like a upside down pinch pot. So I'm going to roll up a small ball of clay pinch it just a little bit to give it the roundness and then I'm going to attach it by slipping and scoring. Slip and score. Score the process of incising surface of a wet or a leather hard clay in a cross hatching pattern before applying slip and joining clay. Slip is watered down clay used for joining clay together. For this project we will be using water. When I'm scoring, I'm using the sharp end of my stick and trying not to be very gentle with the hatching marks that I'm doing. Then I'm going to make an imprint of where I need to score the other piece of clay. Once you've scored, you're going to tap on just a little bit of water for our glue. Then to give it a cactus look, I'm using the side of my stick to just put a little imprint of curves across. Since this type of cactus usually have some type of bloom of a colorful flower, I'm rolling just a little small ball of clay to make this little ball of clay look like a flower without doing very detailed work. I'm using the flat edge of my stick and just putting a hole in the inside and going to slip and score that right on top of this cactus. Next, I will be making a prickly pear cactus where I will need a coil. Coil, a rolled out rope of clay like a worm or a snake. I'm just going to take a good chunk of clay and then roll it in my hands as if I was cold. And then I'm going to gently flatten it in my hand since this cactus is really flat. I'm going to make sure the top part of the cactus is rounded out. So I'm going to use the table to just round it out just a little bit. 
Since this type of cactus has little pieces of cactus that comes out from it, like branches, I'm just going to roll a little ball of clay and shape it like a teardrop and then slip and score it onto the bigger part of the cactus. You can do as many as you would like. I'm going to do about two or three of these. Since we are attaching these really small pieces to a large piece, we want to make sure they're seamless by just smoothing out those seams back and forth the opposite direction of the seam. Once you're done creating your prickly pear, you're going to slip and score to attach it to our garden. The next cactus that I decided to make was a so waro. They look like they have little arms. They're the most popular cactus they are, and they usually grow larger than most trees. To get started, we're going to roll a coil in our hand. Just take a chunk of clay, rolling it back and forth. And we want to keep it a little bit thicker. And then we're going to make little arms. So these are going to be skinnier, smaller coils. Make sure that they are even. If they're uneven, just pinch off a little bit of clay. And then you're just gonna turn these into the shape of an L. Since I like the sides of my cactus better, I am going to roll out my coil a little bit more so it can look more proportionate. Then I'm going to round out the top half of my cactus and then slip and score the sides on. Making sure to smooth out the seam so I know it's attached. I'm going to repeat the same process for the other side of the cactus. Since these cactus are usually heavily textured, I'm going to just draw some lines on. Then I'm going to score and slip, making sure it's really attached to the dish. You could stop here if you would like, but I am gonna add a couple more little small cactuses for proportion wise so we have a small medium and large happening 
I'm gonna add on a blue columnar cactus. It is just a small little coil that goes up and down. And then I'm gonna add some texture coming down from the sides. And then I'm going to slip and score. The last cactus I'm going to add is a star cactus, which is in the shape of a ball. And I'm gonna put a little hole in the center and slip and score. And I'm gonna let this dry for about 24 hours before painting. Now that our cactus garden is dry completely, I want to start out with mixing a couple different shades of green. So I'm going to do a lot of yellow with a little bit of green. Then I'm going to do red and green together since they're complement. That's going to give me a darker green. I'm going to mix that together with just a little bit of green. And then whatever access I have on my brush, I'm going to mix that into my yellow and green mixture. Now I'm going to do blue mixed with green, and that's going to give us more of a teal blue green. It's still going to be dark, but it's just having us different shades of green instead of it all being one shade of green. It shows more interest in our project. When painting your cactus, you can start with any of the shades of green and any of the cactus first. I'm starting with the tallest one because it might be a little bit easier for me, and I'm also just getting... I'm not being too neat about placing the paint down because I can clean up any of the other areas later. I'm starting from the bottom up doing longer brush strokes so I don't have a lot of different textures of brush strokes. If you start to run out of a color before you're done painting something, you can just add a little bit of water to that paint to be able to spread it out. Once you're done painting your first cactus, you're going to continue to paint all the cactuses different shades of green. If you created a golden barrow cactus, you are going to avoid painting the flower up top. Now it's time to bathe the inside of our garden. I'm going to be using brown because we're going to be layer on two different colors so it looks like dirt. So I'm being a little careful around the cactus so it doesn't get any brown on it. If it does, it's okay because it's like dirt on a cactus. 
Also, if you got green on your dish, that is okay because the brown would be able to cover it up. Now that the inside of our dish is painted, we are going to be painting the flower. Flowers that grow on cactuses are usually pretty bright, like pinks, purples, and oranges. I've decided to paint mine pink and purple. To mix purple, you need red and blue. Next, we're going to work on the inside of our bowl again with a layer of light brown. This is going to make the inside of our bowl look like our cactus garden is in dirt or rocks. This is when you need some chunky paint. So you're going to get a little chunk on your brush and gently tap into the darker brown inside of your bowl. This is going to give the inside of our bowl some type of texture. For the outside of the bowl, I am going to be doing a wash. A washed is watered down paint. So I'm adding a little bit of water to my paint to break it down and just doing a couple of brush strokes on the outside. That's going to give it a wood grain effect for our bowl. And there you have it, a cactus garden. Thank you for watching this video and thank you to our partners.